Hello everybody, how are you? I'm fine, I'm Anna, and here today with some fascinating history. We are at Basingwork Abbey here in Hollywell and it's a listed 12th century ruins and I'm going to be showing you around. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a Welsh lesson or maybe we'll just look around. Let's come along and join us. You're very welcome. So, Basingwood Abbey is a Grade 1 listed ruined abbey near Hollywell, Flintshire, here in North Wales, and it was founded in the 12th century. And it's quite important in Welsh history because in 1157, Owain Gwynedd, or Owain Akrafydd, he was the King of Gwynedd at this time. He was actually the King of Gwynedd from 1137 until he died in 1170. And he was called Owain the Great in Welsh. Owain the Great is Owain Maur. And he was actually the first to be styled the name the Prince of Wales. Anyway, back to the story. In 1157, um, Owain Gwynedd, the king of Gwynedd, encamped his army here at Basingwork before facing the forces of King Henry of England, King Henry II, at the Battle of Euloy. Now, the Welsh king, Owain Gwynedd, stopped at this abbey because of its strategic importance. It blocked the route that King Henry from England had to take to reach Rudland. Now we've got a video up on our channel of Rudland, so if you want to go back and look at that um, at any time, do look at that and it'll all tie in. But in the fighting that followed, Owain Gwynedd split his army, routing the English near Euloy. But it was here that he encamped his army before facing King Henry of England. Just to add as well that Owain the Great, or in Welsh, Owain Maur, uh, is considered to be the most successful of all the North Welsh princes prior to his grandson, Llewellyn the Great, who I'm sure a lot of you will uh, have heard of Llewellyn the Great. So that's interesting, isn't it? A little bit of Welsh history there for you. So maybe we'll have a little bit of a Welsh lesson before we finish. Okay, now um, we're going over old ground really, but because of um, where we are today, there's not much that I can teach you that I haven't already taught you, but we'll just go over some things. Let's say um, grass in Welsh is glass. West. Wall is wall. I'm just looking now to see what we can find. Um, window, there's some broken windows, or what was maybe windows. Window is fenestr. Three is coy again. Leaves is dial. Falling leaves is dial and quimpa. Ground is tear. Tree is coy again. Wall is wall. Sky is our. Grass is glass wet. Door is drus, window is fenester. And we'll leave it there for today um, at Amazing Work Abbey. Uh, we've had a little bit of history and we've had a little bit of Welsh, but we will say ta ta for now and we'll see you on the next adventure or the next Welsh lesson. Don't forget to keep practicing because practice makes perfect. Ta ta for now and we'll see you soon. Nostar.